Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to continue with the lunch and dinner of the British Army ORP menu number seven. So let's get lunch and dinner out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So we now have lunch of the British menu seven ORP out on the tray. And this is what I would consider lunch from those components. I have the Mexican tuna pasta, uh, some digestive biscuits, with some peanut butter. I have a wet nap just in case, a coffee, direct but's coffee, and gum. There is the cola flavoured drink, cherry sweets, and of course we have the MRE spoon. So Let's start off with the coffee and we're going to use the Dow egg butts in this case and I'm going to make it straight off again as I like it complete with the whitener and sugar. So again the coffee, the whitener, sorry the sugar and now the whitener. Just about half to three quarters of a mug. There's plenty of water for these. Yeah, a little bit more there. Okay, that's fine. And I think what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and make the cola flavour beverage base. Nice pack of powder, very fine looking. And again, we'll fill that, but this time to the top. Now that one did call for 500 mils of water. Um, this glass is about 350, so it'll be a little bit thicker than what it called for. Okay. Let's wipe the spoon. Now I think we'll open the digestive biscuits. Oats digestives, and there is about five in there. Took a little bit of damage, but not too bad. I shall need the peanut butter, smooth peanut butter, give us a little knead. feels quite thick and we'll just take the edge off that and have the cherry flavoured sweets nice bag of them there and we'll just put a couple on the tray and that really leaves us with the mains the tuna Mexican pasta I have warmed this this is one of those containing tuna you'd think do I need to warm it or not but generally speaking I think that all the British IPs are better they're better warmed so I've warmed it up Nice smell coming from there. Nice smell of vegetables. I can smell the sweet corn and pepper or bell pepper. I can smell carrot. I suppose a carrot in there. Let's empty that out. It's 
some beans. It's a nice looking portion. And obviously warming it up, the oils have flowed. That's a very nice hearty portion. Lots of tuna, pepper, sweet corn. I think that would have been nice cold as well. Let's move the wet nap to one side. So, let's start with the coffee. The Dow Egbert's coffee. Nice and dark, nice dark rich roast. Mm. Creamy creamer. It's taken the edge that would have been on that dark roast away, made it nice and creamy. Right amount of water. Decent instant coffee. It is instant, it's never going to be a filter coffee, but for what it is, it's a decent coffee. Have a quick look at this cola. It's got a little bit of a white film on top there. And the taste of that. It's certainly not Coke, certainly not Pepsi. Has a nice um, cola bottle flavour. In the UK, we have Jelly Sweets uh, cola bottles. It tastes very, very similar to those. I've heard that in the US they have gummies, cola bottle gummies. Never seen them, um, but I should imagine it's a very similar sort of taste. It's the sort of taste you get with a jelly sweet in cola flavour. It's different, it's drinkable. Certainly not Pepsi or cola, but it is a cola flavour. Quite a nice drink there. And I think we'll go straight now. To this Mexican tuna pasta. See if I can get a little bit of everything on there. Okay. So as you can see, there was plenty of sweet corn, some red beans, pasta, um, nice sauce. Let's have a taste of that. Mm. The sweet corn, excuse fingers, the sweet corn still has texture, as does the be uh, beans. Not overcooked, there's some life left in the vegetables. Taste of the tuna. Mmm. Good quality tuna. It's got a consistency still, like a meat. Our fresh tuna can taste a little bit meaty in texture. That still has some of that texture there. There's also a very gentle background, a little bit of heat. Nothing untoward, nothing too overpowering. Gentle, chilly style heat to the back of that flavouring. Mm. Very nice warmed would go equally as nice if, if it was cold a nice all round flavoursome pasta dish just uh, another sip of that coffee to cleanse my palate mm. decent instant coffee should have a look at the oat digestives little bit of battle damage quite flowery very very bland there's virtually no sugar in there to be honest it's quite disappointing as a digestive I wouldn't call this a digestive when I'm used to eating them out of the packet from the store they are a base cracker. They're certainly not what we'd call a digestive in the UK. Very simple, very bland um, oat flavoured cracker. Certainly needs something. We have some peanut butter 
as you probably know by now I'm not a fan of peanut butter on its own but I was very impressed with my first PB&J so I've discovered a new flavour of peanut butter with jam but on its own I'm not a usual fan of peanut butter but we'll give this a taste mmm The peanut butter is thick, it is rich, it contains a lot of peanuts. I'm not a peanut butter expert, but it does taste like it's a very good quality. A lot of peanut in there. Doesn't do much for the digestive, more, more the digestive is a base for the peanut butter. But very, very, very decent. You would never put a digestive in this sort of dish um, ordinarily, but let's see what it does as a base layer for the tuna pasta. Again, doesn't do a lot. Very disappointing biscuit, very disappointing biscuit. Let's try one more dumped in the coffee. Not a biscuit for dunking in there. It tastes like you're dunking a dry cracker into coffee. Very uninspiring. Very poor quality. I don't actually like those much. Okay. Back to the Coke Cola flavour. Unusual flavour, being flat, no carbonation, but still pleasant, pleasant drink. Have a look at one of those cherry flavoured boiled sweets. One a little bit sticky, not too bad. They have been in there a few years now. A little bit sticky, but not too bad. Mmm. instantly artificial cherry flavor as it hits your mouth obviously no actual cherry in there but the artificial flavored cherry flavor is quite prominent quite flavorful quite a decent hard sweet or candy to the tea, coffee rather. Mm. Half decent instant coffee. And I'm going to finish off this lunch with a look at the spearmint gum. There is two Two little briquettes. Mm. Just like the breakfast one, they've lost their crispiness. The crispy shell is soft, but behind the crispy shell, there's still a decent spearmint flavour there. Flavoursome but lost its crispness, its freshness. But, as I keep saying, it is now, coming up to about four years old or so, so I'm sort of expected. But it's still a decent minty mouth freshener. A little bit sticky, 
So we'll have a look at one of these wet naps. Nice size. One of the largest wet naps I've come across in any rations. Very moist, not drenching, but certainly very cleansing. And strong, very strong for a wet nap in a MRE. Very decent wet nap. So, I'm going to leave it here. Summary. The lunch menu, a little bit hit and miss. Decent instant coffee. Um, middle roast, not bitter. Nice and creamy with a creamer. You'd certainly be grateful of that on a cold winter's night. Cola flavoured drink. Unusual. Tastes it like a flat cola, as I said, certainly not a drinking cola like Pepsi or Coke, but more like the sweets, the jelly sweet flavoured cola that you've come across. But still, it's a very pleasant flavour and it's a nice cooling drink. The candies, the sweets, artificial flavoured, but plenty of it. Uh, definitely cherry, an artificial, typical candy, sweet, flavoured cherry. Um, decent to put in your top pocket, pop one in your mouth as you're walking along. Certainly, you'd be enjoy, enjoy them. The mains, tuna pasta, Mexican tuna pasta. Certainly could have been eaten hot or cold. Um, cold would have been just as enjoyable. Plenty of pasta, plenty of tuna, the um, sweet corn has still got some consistency to it, the bell pepper still has some freshness, very fresh all round tasting light snack, small hint of spice, heat spice but not a lot, very, very mild, very gentle meal. The digestives very disappointing, very disappointing. They're flavourless, they're flat, um, they're certainly not what I'd call a digestive. Coming from the UK we have packets of digestive biscuits, certainly not a patch on those. They do make a base for putting your peanut butter on um, and you could use them as a base for your mains to bulk it, but as a biscuit, very disappointing. The peanut butter, good, thick, tastes of quality, plenty of peanuts in there for certain, nice, smooth peanut butter. And the gum, again, nice, gentle spearmint, age has gotten to this particular pack and once again it has softened the crispy shell, but if you look beyond that there is still a nice mint flavour which is still present and once you're chewing you still get a very pleasant mouth cleansing experience. So, I'm going to leave it here and I'm thanks for watching and I'm going to come back with the last of the meals from the ORP, the evening dinner. So thank you and goodbye for now. Welcome back to what I would consider the evening meal and I now have it laid out on the tray. And for the evening meal uh, I'm going to have the barbecue peanuts, the tutti frutti or tropical rather, tropical flavoured drink, meat sticks and rice, cereal bar, the cookies and cream flavour, some chocolate squidge, the mango cake, and I thought with the last coffee, I'd make it into a mocha with the drinking chocolate. So, as always, I like to start with the drinks. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with making a chocolate mocha. So chocolate flavour, regular type. And just 
regular looking drinking chocolate some chocolate there so I've reviewed that before as a chocolate so I'm going to use the Nescafe coffee and turn this chocolate into a mocha or mocha depending on where you're from so there is the coffee and I'm going to use a whitener as well for no other reason apart from the fact I've got one and there we go and we'll just top that off and I think a full cup is in order this time The chocolate does say for 500 mils, half a litre, which is the size of the British Army mug. So it'll be a full mug of chocolate. Just wipe my spoon there. And just give that a few moments to infuse, and we'll make up the tropical flavour beverage base powder Whoa. nice smell coming from that of like mixed fruits mixed flavors and again they're very fine powders and we'll just top that off And again, that packet called for 500 mils, half a litre, and I said before, it's about 350, so it should be a little bit stronger. Let's clean down my spoon. We open the barbecue peanuts. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, there was a nice hiss. That's always nice to hear. Empty those out. We move along to the side. Now this gets a lot of bad reviews. The old mango cake. We should have a look at it. Again, this can be served warm, but this time I'm going to have it cold. Usually nice to give it to warm. There's a little piece of cake there. We have our last cereal bar, the chocolate cookies and cream. Very black, very dark. I'm going to prepare the squidge. Squidge hazelnut chocolate spread. Just involves removing the cap there. Now the main meat sticks and rice. Pre-warmed these again, it's very hot. Rice dish, as it says on the suggestion of the name. Empty that out. Okay, so obviously the meat sticks, referring to, is the sausages, sausage type, sausage type meats in there. And again, I can see carrots, green beans, looks like 
peppers, bell peppers, rice obviously, and one, two, three little sticks of meat. So, I think this time I'm going to start off with the drink. So nice orange colour, not too overly coloured. Mm. Mm. Very nice, very nice mix of fruits, sweet, not overly coloured, plenty of flavour. Can't say that it's a natural flavour, it's artificial. But it's very tastefully done. Very nice artificial flavoured juice drink there. Mm. And we'll have a look at the chocolate mocha or mocha. Mmm. Oh, as always. Very nice, very dark, rich chocolate base. The little hint of coffee in there just gives it a different lift, but it's a very, very decent drinking chocolate. Mm. Very comforting, very pleasing. Plenty of flavour, a lot of chocolate. Very nice. They never seem to fail, um, disappoint. Okay, so barbecue peanuts. They are peanuts with a Crispy coating. Let's try a few of those. There. Yeah. Still very fresh tasting. They call them barbecue, but I wouldn't actually say that as a barbecue flavour. Very difficult to describe. Slightly sweet. Honey roasted, there is honey there, a few herbs, a few spices. Personally, it's not my favourite thing, but I know a lot of people do actually love this flavour. There's a slight heat background. Very difficult to flavour. I wouldn't say barbecue, it's like a honey, cayenne, pepper, spice type flavour. Not totally unpleasant at all. Not totally unpleasant, but certainly plenty of crunch, plenty of crispness still there in those nuts. Okay, so I'm going to come to the come to the main meal, meat sticks in rice. So as you can see, there is rice there, with carrots, peas. I think there's a bit of sweet corn. Looks like there's green bean. So, uh, 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 orange sauce. Let's have a taste see if we can see what that sort of sauce is. Mm. That's quite underwhelming. I was expecting something far more flavourful from the sauce there. I thought it would be a bit more hot. There's a very, 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 very light background hint of heat, but it's certainly not got a lot of flavour. Certainly anybody could eat that. Let's try a little piece of the meat stick, or looks like a sausage. It's quite firm, not like a typical fairground type of sausage, the sort of hot dog sausage you get in water. It's more texture to it than that, but it's not as firm as a burger, as a burger patty. Quite loose grained. I have no high idea what meat that is. Very, very highly processed. And again, not an actual decent sausage by any means. Very lacking. Very in need. 
of some flavour. We do have some Tabasco Red. This is certainly the perfect one to add a little bit of that. Didn't come out then for a moment. I think there was a little bit of a blockage. And I put far more in than I wanted to when it did come. It seemed to empty half of the bottle. So I think in this instance it's not going to do it a lot of damage. Mm. That's giving it a little bit more peppery kick. Certainly it was in need of that. There's still not an awful lot of flavour in that rice, but the heat now helps disguise the fact of the lack of original flavour. Mm. The Tabasco has 100% improved. Improved what was a very lacking meal, but now quite flavourful with the heat there. Much better, much better with the addition of the Tabasco. The rice is very soft, very gloopy and sticky. Um, a very sticky rice dish. Another taste of the orange, the drink, just to cleanse the palate. Very nice palate cleanser. Very nice. And another drink of the chocolate, just before I taste the mango cake. Mmm. Wonderful chocolate. Okay. Now, the mango cake. Seems to get mixed reviews depending on who's reviewing it. It's soft, shelf stable, very dry. Personally, I think it has a quite a pleasant flavour. It tastes sweet, um, sticky, it's almost like there's a sticky toffee pudding going on in there. Very, very slight mango. Um, it's not a strong mango. Very, very light. It's basically a sweet pound cake, a sweet Madeira style cake. Certainly don't know why it gets the bad reviews on other reviewers that it does. Because this is far better than some of the pound cakes I've had before. Let's see if we can improve it further. A little addition of the squidge. Now it's a squidge, oops, got a lot of the liquid there, should have kneaded it first, I'm a little bit runny, should have kneaded that, okay, a little bit of the chocolate squidge, mmm, <laughs> that was in need of a, need of a need, unfortunately. But there we go. Now it's thickened up. Chocolate coating on the mango cake. Mm. Again, much improved. Very much like and a thick Nutella hazelnut spread. A little bit just on the finger there. Mm. Very nice flavour of hazelnuts, very nice flavour of chocolate. Let's have a look at the cookies and cream cereal bar. It's very dark, very black in colour. Soft, little biscuit or crispies in the centre there. I always find the colour of these quite disturbing. There was just something about eating this black. But it's very tasty. Chocolatey. 
little crispy chewy bits in the middle very nice let's also add this a little bit of squidge on the edge there mm, again the squidge just helps doesn't need it but it just gives it another lift another chocolatey boost very nice very enjoyable if you can bypass the colour of being black it's actually a very nice tasty energy boost cleanse my palette again mm. I'm going to try adding a couple of the barbecue nuts to the rice to see if that does anything to improve the flavour there mm. I can't say that did anything to improve that it's filling it's stodgy I'm sure it's high in calories calorific value the addition of the Tabasco did help, but I must admit, out of the ORP meals that I've had, this is one of the most disappointing. Not a lot of flavour. It will fill your belly, it will make you feel full, um, but I don't think many would actually say they enjoy this particular one. It's just lacking the flavour you come to expect from an ORP meal. Mm. Excuse me, just clean myself up a little bit. Keep coming back to the juice, it's very nice, nice drink. Mm. Lovely palate cleanser. And finally, we have the sweet menthol gum. Like before, two little bricks. There's another one in the packet there. Oh. Now that one still retained its crispness. The previous other two packets had lost the crispy shell. This still had a little bit of crunch. Little hint of menthol. It's not nose clearing like menthol usually is when you have a cold and you have something menthol to help clear your nose. It's certainly not as strong as that. More of a mint flavour. But it's refreshing. It's pleasing. After the Tabasco and the barbecue flavourings, it certainly helps clear the palate of those. Again, a decent gum. Just a little bit aged. Have a little drink of the, the chocolate. So, summary on the evening meal. Drinking chocolate, always good and it didn't disappoint again on this occasion lots of chocolate, lots of flavour, nice and sweet nice and creamy the addition of the Nescafe coffee and an extra creamer just gave it another lift but certainly didn't need it, it would have been a good chocolate drink in the first instance and it's still a very good chocolate drink with the addition of the coffee mm. be most welcome any battlefield soldier would love a mug of that on a cold, cold night. The fruit drink, very pleasant, very che um, chemical flavoured, but not overly. You can tell it again, it doesn't contain actual fruit, um, but it is very delicately chemical, um, and it's done in a nice way, a delicate way, making a very refreshing, light drink. Hmm. 
barbecue peanuts, they're still fresh. There was a hiss when we opened the bag. Not sure I would call that flavour specifically barbecue. Um, it's more like a cayenne pepper, honey type coating, but still reasonably pleasant. It's fresh and it's different. It's a different taint on the standard peanut, apart from salt, it makes a change. The main meal. I must admit, personally, I found this disappointing. Try and get a little bit of everything. Excuse fingers. The rice was sticky and stodgy, lacked flavour. The sausages, I have no idea what kind of meat that is. Um, it tastes like a, a highly processed, poor, poor sausage. The original orange sauce in there gave the impression it would be spicy and flavoursome. It's actually very bland, very tasteless, lacking salt, lacking pepper. Needed the Tabasco, edible without it, but very, very boring. The Tabasco just saved it, so very disappointing. Edible, not, not something that you wouldn't eat if you was hungry, was hungry, but I don't think many would choose that as a first choice, just to the lack of flavour. Excuse me, just clean myself up. The squidge. I didn't need it, so the first the liquid came out. Once I've bypassed the liquid again, it went back to a nice, rich, chocolatey, nutty spread. Very similar to Nutella and a very good quality. The cookie bar, the cereal bar, the colour can be a little bit off putting, I think, personally, being black. But the flavour, very chocolatey, very crispy, um, full of energy. You can tell it's doing you good. If you was flagging from lack of energy, this would soon give you a pick-me-up. A little bit of the squidge on it, just gave it another dimension of the extra chocolate. Mango cake. In my opinion, doesn't deserve the bad reviews it gets. It's just a very light sort, um, sort of cake. Um, pound cake or Madeira style cake. It's shelf stable, so it's a little bit more heavier than normal, but it certainly doesn't deserve its bad reputation. A little bit of squidge, even give it a lift. A little bit of jam on there, if there was jam, would also give it a lift. Um, even warming it, if it was warmer, I'm sure it would have been softer. Certainly not deserving of its bad reputation. It is what it is. It's a shelf stable piece of cake. The gum, this time, hadn't lost its crispiness, a light menthol aftertaste, but very palate cleansing and clearing after a bit of a spicy meal. So, I think I'm going to leave it there. So that was the contents of the British ORP Menu 7 from 2015 stock. Couple of decent meals. One, particularly this one in my opinion, certainly wasn't up to much. The digestive biscuits, again, is also very disappointing. But apart from that, overall, most of the contents were very decent and very enjoyable to eat. Um, there is just a Thai food tea bag and the tissues left out of the pack, so we've sampled everything now. So I'm going to leave it there and let you make up your own mind. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.